Hey, how's it going? So today what we're going to talk about is three things that are goals for every argument or every interaction really where you want something at the end of the interaction. So Cicero said that there are three things that every person can get from an argument. The first is to change the emotions of the people listening, the audience. The second is to change the logical beliefs of the audience. And the third is to get them to take concrete action. And these are in level of difficulty. So emotions is really easy. Logical mind's a little harder. Getting someone to actually do something is very, very hard by comparison. So what are some examples of this? If you look at the emotional level, frequently you'll see people campaigning, pro-lifers campaigning against abortion. And they'll have a pamphlet of pictures of fetuses that they will hand to you and they will tell you a story that's really visceral about how the procedure goes to give you the shock feeling, to make you feel a visceral feeling of disgust and associate that with abortion. That's really an emotional level change and that's pretty powerful. Um, emotional level change almost always calls on something visceral like that. You know, imagery is a good way to do it. Or a, or a story, a dramatic story is a good way too. So let's look at the second level, the middle level, which is how do you change logical beliefs? Now these can be done just peppering someone with statistics and showing people a community of people which agrees in a similar manner. You know, if you say we have a cut, we own, we have a customer base of this many people that follow us because of these reasons, because we provide this stat, this stat, and this stat, it's uh, that feeling of community will lead you to change your beliefs. And in addition to that, having statistics which make your own beliefs seem foolish compared to the beliefs offered will make you want to change. And then the third thing that Cicero said that you can aim for in an interaction is to get actual concrete action, which is the ideal. Um, so to get someone to take action is really just a blend of the previous two and getting those up to a level where the person reaches the threshold of action, and then to call them to act. So when you look at canvassers, canvassers on the street, like Greenpeace members, they will show you diagrams of deforested land and pictures of things that are going to go extinct or be endangered if you don't support their cause, rousing this emotional drive in you, making you feel like, oh God, I feel terrible if these things don't happen. Maybe you feel a feeling of guilt for not donating, or you feel a feeling of sadness at the idea of deforestation in these things. So that's the emotional level. Then they pepper you with things like, we have already got 40,000 subs, or we've already had 40,000 people who've signed our petition. Um, we're bringing in, we've already made $10,000 this week for this cause. And they provide you with lots of logical examples as to why you should join. Changing your logical beliefs. So they win you over emotionally, and then it's really easy, a little bit easier to get those beliefs. And then third, they call you to action. So they start off really high. They say, hey man, if you can just give us $15 a month, $20 a month, that would be awesome. And that's a call to action. And if that works, cool. They've just got you on all three points that they were trying to get you on. And if it doesn't work, then what happens is they go slowly lower and lower. And because you're already hyped up emotionally, and because you've already been convinced to believe something different than what you initially did, you're much easier and much more likely to take action on their points. So they really, if you look at the guys that sell you on the street, if you talk to them for a little while, you'll see that they actually address these three things in level of easy, medium, hard, and slowly bring you to the point where you're willing to take action. It's a really, a really seductive way to go about it. So see if you can use one, two, or three of these things on attempting to win an argument or on attempting to get someone to take some sort of action. So, cool. I will see you guys later. Take care.